Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it may be for you. My name is Thomas, and I am the owner of EOE Designs and Decor, um, otherwise known as the Epitome of Excellence Design, Designs and Decor. Um, as y'all can see in the thumbnail of this video, what type of event this is, so I won't go into like colors and all of that stuff, but just wanted to open up this video and share with you guys um, some of the preparation behind the scenes stuff and what I've done. I may do a few voiceovers in this video, or I may not, depending on how, <laughs> depending on how I feel when I edit it, but um, today is currently December the 17th. If I had to make a guess about the temperature, it has to be no more than 30, 30, between 30 and 31 degrees, and the time is now 842. The venue that I'm headed to opens up at nine. Y'all have seen this video, this venue, a few different times um, in some of my videos. So um, the location is not unfamiliar territory. Uh, the event does not start until three o'clock, but I like to go ahead and get everything in, set up and get out of the way. I don't want to be crossing in the way when like the DJ gets there or the vendor or the, whoever's doing the food and all of that stuff. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm setting up for roughly 50 guests, maybe a little bit over. I'm here at the storage now, and I'm driving to U-Haul today because I have to get a chase lounge out of my storage, and I have to get one of my thrones. And I already have everything literally lined up, prepped, and ready to be put in the back of this truck. Uh, and the balloons are in the van with my wife. She'll be on in a minute. She's getting breakfast. That way we can eat and go here to the venue. So it's really important that you're on time for these uh, events because I think that's something that is a is a part of my integrity. I like being on time, giving the people what they want because when you hire somebody to do your events, it's really supposed to be as stress free as possible. It's really supposed to be as seamless as possible, and pretty much everything I include is well for this year. I don't include the plates and utensils, but I will going into next year. But I try to make it so that the only thing they have to do is worry about who's coordinating the food, the DJ, all of that good stuff, but everything as far as decorations and all of that, I take care of. So this is a birthday party or 50th birthday party. She booked this thing literally, I think she booked this in February of this year, maybe March, because we talked on and off all year and she told me what she wanted, what she didn't want. And um, it's stuff that's within what I can do within my scope. So I'm excited about uh, being able to execute whatever her vision is. Um, so, yeah, this is the last event of 2022. Um, the next video you will see um, maybe some in-between stuff, but I want to enjoy the holiday season with my family. Um, and if you are seeing this video, it could be Christmas Eve or right before Christmas. And then the week after that is going to be New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I have a lot going on as far as my nine to five so i want to stay focused on that um i really don't have anything else to say um if you're not already a subscriber make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified when i upload these videos and pretty much stay tuned for the rest of this video thank y'all for stopping by all right so i'm gonna do a voiceover in a few bits and pieces of this video. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I wanted to do a voiceover for this one. Don't get used to it, y'all. But um, as you can see, we are setting up for this event. Um, we got a lot of time to set up. I think we had about four hours to set this up. We took our sweet time. Um, you'll see later in the video with people, not people, but the people with the food start coming in and kind of interacting with us. But um, this client booked me at the beginning of 2022 and told me everything she wanted right here. Y'all will see that I am doing the drapes. Notice how I'm putting the white drapes that will go on the back side of the draping in the front. See, um, I got four panels there and I'm gonna go behind it and take the panels that they'll actually see and flip them over. The reason I do this is because I don't like the rail in the show at the top because I don't have a railing cover. So, um, yeah, that's why I do that because, and I hope it makes sense because I'm putting the, 
extension on the back side of it and just flipping them over so all of it is still in one line. Um, this is my first time ever doing this. I did a little bit practicing in my storage. And basically what you see is what you get in this. So, um, right here, I do not recommend using, you see those green panels that I'm bunching up? I don't recommend using those for draping because they are like a polyester uh, material, which is stiff until you wash them enough. So the only reason I am using these is because they are closer to the emerald slash hunter green that she requested. Y'all see how they're hanging, but I'm gonna fix that. Um, I had ordered some from CV Linen and they came, but they look more like a, um, I can't remember what kind of green, but they look more like a, they're a lighter green. I still use them in another part, but not right here. So, and these tablecloths actually came from e -Favor Mart. I don't have a link. The only thing I knew is my wife was um, scrolling on Facebook one day. She saw an ad and we knew it would be the color we needed. She clicked on the ad, placed the order, and we can tell you from the can of paint what account we ordered them from or anything. And I can't even tell you the name or the link for them, so I'm sorry about that, but um, they were ordered like this summer because we had been planning for this event, so. Um, we would have loved to do, have done Shavari chairs in this video, which is the gold um, chairs or the white chairs you see when we work at Southern Charm. Um, but I think the white chair covers look pretty good here. We're going to do some green chair sashes that you tie on some of them, and we'll do gold sequin ones on the other ones. The reason I'm using this gold tablecloth right here is because I knew her dress would be green, and I didn't want her dress to clash with her tablecloth. I think stuff like that is important because, like, for birthdays, weddings, um, maybe any event, if you know what your client's gonna be wearing and you have to set up a head table, I think it's best to coordinate their head table with what they'll be wearing. So that's the reason we use that gold one. I didn't want to use it because I've been using it a lot lately, but it went, it looks good, and it, it always is a pop, so. And right here, you'll see me using these, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the pay yet. Uh, sequin drapes. I don't fell in love with these. I still like my gold ones because they trustworthy. Y'all tell me if y'all see what I'm seeing or y'all think I'm crazy, but right here it looks like this is a shimmer wall, don't it? Refer to my last video to see what I'm talking about, but they look like a shimmer wall and my plan was to just put these um, as a whole backdrop drape like this and I think it came out exactly like I wanted it. I'm using Fisher Line to hang the happy birthday sign. I'm gonna use it again at another birthday party that I have coming up in February. Um, I might not use the Fisher Line again because this right here gave me a fit trying to center it. And um, I'm wrapping it around the pole using a rubber band. I rig my stuff up so when y'all be like, hey, hang that up, can you tell me what you use? Sometimes I just go with what I have in my kit and um, pray that it work. So that fishing line is my best friend. Um, I will move this again later in the video. I probably have already cropped it out, but I'm gonna move it because this was not centered enough for me. And um, when I put the balloons up, it told on me. It's an actual hook that comes with this. And um, it's, more like a clear hook, so I could have used that here, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm stacking. So I'd already blown these balloons up. This is a very good balloon garland. I ordered this balloon garland from Amazon. I think it was $17 or $18. I do not spend a lot of money on balloons unless I'm doing something like a feature wall, which is like the um, garland going our way around, or maybe a balloon ring. Um, if I need to spend a lot of money on balloons, I'll probably go to a balloon vendor or website to get them. But these are some very good quality balloons. The only reason I pop one balloon out of all of these balloons is because I handled them wrong when I put them 
in the U-Haul, I believe. So um, that was enough to do one side of a garland, and then right here, you'll see me tying up the excess. Um, right here, I start becoming a nervous wreck because one of the ladies who, right here, <laughs> she was doing the um, food, she came early. She came really real early with the food. She came like two hours early. And um, so that's when I started getting a little sense of urgency about what I was doing. And um, I'm just gonna make this balloon kind of offset because when I push the chase over, you'll see where one side is lower than the other. And just adding in my little five inch balloons. Um, and this kit comes like this. It comes with the big balloons, the mid-sized balloons, and the kit. And I'm planning on doing a video about these kits because um, I did have a follower. I met a follower and she was telling me I make them look easy, but I'll be struggling. But I want you guys to see it. So right here, you'll see me putting the napkins down. And the napkin rings that I ordered, I caught them on sale for like $2 for eight, I think. Um, it was a mixture of gold and silver, and the ones that were silver, I spray painted. <laughs> and I'm putting them on now. They are like some leaf napkin rings. I love them, and I'd rather have them as gold because I do more gold events. Um, and if I run across some more, I'll just get some more. Um, but they are temporarily out of stock. I ordered them on Amazon, and um, I had ordered them specifically for this event. The centerpieces I'm not really a fan about. I got the vases from... Ross or TJ Maxx um, and the hydrangeas was a last minute thing I was planning on doing another kind of centerpiece but it wasn't working out like I wanted it to so you can never go wrong with hydrangeas but these pictures are the finished product these are those napkin rings that I spray painted this is the finished product on that backdrop um, those tablecloths, the floating candles everything came together pretty good so um, again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.